And welcome back to another edition of the Pitch Button Puff Podcast. My name is Roger, a.k.a. RGB. Before we get cooking with the recap show tonight, just got to give a couple quick shout-outs to some sponsors. Uh, first and foremost, GolferCBD.com. Make sure you guys check out GolferCBD.com. Uh, use promo code PPP10 to save 10%. Uh, what Golfer CBD is trying to do, they have a bunch of different things. They have the performance spray, the recovery cream, the performance cream, as well as as well as the gummies. A um, couple of the boys got into the gummies this week, and I can tell you Steve went from shooting 96s and got himself down into the 80s this weekend. So it looked like his focus was a little bit a little bit back there uh, because of the gummies. So, um, yeah, they have a b- bunch of different things. Golf for CBD affects the body's receptors that manage our thought process, motor activity, resistance to stress and pain, as well as the basic system of the human body, such as the cardiovascular, immune, respiratory, and muscular functions. Golfer CBD may influence golfers' pain perception, response to inflammation, and perception of various sensations, such as stress. We all know about stress when you're lining up that three-footer for a bird. Uh, golfer CBD may positively affect the golfer's mood, motor functions, and the way they react to the environment, making Golfer CBD an essential tool of every golfer's course kit. Make sure you check them out. Like I said, PPP10 for 10% off at checkout. Also, we have 420 Bliss located at 740 Hoosick Road right in the Walmart Plaza. Make sure you stop in there, check them out. Let no, let Ty and the crew know the boys, the Pitch Button Puff crew sent you. A uh, bunch of different options up there: flowers, pre rolls, edibles, vapes, tinctures, you name it, they got it. So make sure you check them out. Uh, also, trouble off the tee, trouble off the tee.com, Promo code RGB for fifteen percent off, as well as promo code Puff for buy one get one free on the polos. So make sure you guys take advantage of that. I mean, polos are no joke. Great on the golf course, nice uh, dry fit material, so nice and nice and light out there, especially in these hot summer days. Uh, don't forget to check out the book, written by Marty Minden, narrated by Jake Adams from Country Club Adjacent, available on Spotify as well as Audible. We're going to take a quick break here, and then we're going to get into the recap show. The New York State Cannabis Festival is back on Saturday, June 22nd at the Broome County Fairgrounds in Whitney Points. Learn how to use cannabis both medically and recreationally from female leaders. Glass spilling talent, meditation, yoga sessions, and more. Plus, stop by the Drink Like a Girl tent to sample New York State craft beer. Camping and glamping options are available. Tickets and info at NewYorkStateCannabisFestival.com. Cannabis carriers are encouraged to attend. Must be 20 and over. Hope to see you there. Welcome back to the Pitch Punt Puff Podcast. My name is Roger, a.k.a. RGB. Uh, Going to hit you with a little Father's Day weekend recap. We had a busy weekend out there on the golf course. Uh, joining me today is my man, JR. What up, Jay? Jay, can you hear me? What up, man? And then we got uh, the Upstate Golf Guys are with us today. We got Anthony and Mikey. What's up, boys? What's going on? Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. So, busy weekend out there. Busy weekend. Saturday, we had 12 guys. Uh, the RPI golf coach joined us. He was on the Upstate podcast with us a few about a month or so ago. Um, let's see. Kirk, we had the Father's Day. Mike and his son Kirk were out there in that group with Anthony, as well as, who was it? It was uh, myself, Bob, Fairway, and Anthony, the cart guy. He loves playing with us, dude. He has a blast playing with us, that kid. And yeah, he's then the pretty ra- funny. Yeah, he's a good kid. Then to round it out was Jr. Steve, uh, Hank, and Parisi to finish out the group. So yeah, overall, Parisi shot a broke eighty, huh? Shot a seventy nine out there. Yeah, he's been due, man. He's got one of those. He's one of those guys who is really hit or miss. He was the low score of the day. Um, who else we got? Yeah, he was the low score with the seventy nine. Uh, coach had the, an eighty. Coach had an eighty. Steve came in with the eighty one. That's uh, that's impressive for Steve. He's been struggling lately. Yeah, those guys were on fire. Uh, it was a good, it was a good little match. I shot an eighty-five. Jay, you were at eighty-eight, and then where did we round off? Uh, da, 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 da. I shot a ninety, I think. Yeah, or you were eighty-nine. Not, you were at eighty-nine. What did Bob shoot? Eighty-six. Yeah, Bob Bubba won. Get, he yeah, matched Bubba, up with a uh, coach, with right? Coach. Yeah, him and coach. coach. Eight, him and coach, eighty and eighty-six. Yeah, so Bob's Bob's been winning a little bit this year. Coach was trying to buy me dinner with his winning money, but it was just too late. I wanted to get home. He said, "Come on, man, dinner's on me, bro." 
<laughs> yeah, it was so funny. So I had tickets to the Firebirds. And I looked at the schedule. I'm like, oh, perfect. Game's at 8 o'clock. We'll go play golf. We'll go to the game. Me, Steve, and Brad went. The game started at 7 o'clock. We got there at halftime. Like, bro, we missed the whole fucking game pretty much. It was a shit show. Yes. What is the fi- what like is the Firebirds now? What like conference division? I mean, what's the? I know it's, it's not the same arena a, league. It's what official, is it? It's official arena football league now. It's so not. What uh, was the um? What was the uh, ones that Antonio Brown just owned and got? What were they? Got those guys? So it was like the second. Well, it, when he had it, it was part of the arena football league. But the um, another company bought the whole league basically. So. On that end, like, they had to go through new ownership. It went bankrupt. Um, the guy used to announce, Jaws, uh, Janikowski, what the hell's the guy's name, for ESPN. He used to own it. He used to own the Philadelphia okay. Soul, and then he used to own – then he ended up buying the uh, the whole AFL. Now, Jed, uh, what the hell's the guy's name? Uh, Coach the Titans, Fisher. Jeff Fisher. Jeff Fisher. He, he runs the whole AFL now. Dude, it's a so, cool. Uh, it's is, a cool it, is it all? Is it all the same players that were on the Albany Firebirds with with Antonio Brown? Some. It's mixed. It's Some mixed of them. In. Yeah, because like with the arena football, a lot of teams fold. So when they fold, gotcha. up, guys start bouncing around. Gotcha. Yep. Uh, long story short, don't let Antonio Brown run your Dude. football team. <laughs> exactly. Don't let him do about, anything. Tell, Tell him about what he ordered through you, though. So, yeah, I got a little story about AB. So, um, <laughs> I never so, heard of this, so this should be good. I just, uh, so he had just bought in the, uh, or I don't know if he actually owned him or what the deal was, but the announcement was made. And uh, I was following him on Instagram, and I literally just hit him up on in the Instagram story, and I was like, I was like, yo, man, I was like, <laughs> stop by and bring me some tickets, and I'll help promote for you. And he literally, like, responded within, like, three minutes dude the dude's probably constantly on his phone i was like oh shit dude antonio brown just responded to me this is crazy <laughs> so then like i started talking to him telling him a little bit about how his dad coached our school at tamarack uh he was not only the football coach but a basketball coach and ab used to actually be running around like as a little kid at tamarack with his little brothers so i told him that and he got a kick out of it and he was like yo man where you at i'm gonna come see you and i was like i got all excited i told brad i told brad and uh mikey i'm like Yo, Antonio Brown's coming to see me, this and that. So now, like, three or four days come by. I'm like, yo, there's, like, a game. So then there was, like, a game that week. And I'm like, yo, you're going to come by and, like, bring me some tickets. I'll give some away. This was when he was, like, giving all the tickets away to, like, the high school kids when he went over to, like, that park in Albany. So uh, he was like, he was like, get a hold of my assistant. So now, like, he gives me this guy's phone number. I'm like, and I'm I'm just like, I literally just wanted some tickets, some free tickets at this point. So, uh so I, I messaged, I text this guy, and he's like, yeah, he's like, where are you at? I'm like, I'm, uh, you know, right up by the Capitol. I have a store uh, on Washington Avenue. He's like, oh, he's like, you got a store? I'm like, yeah. He's like, so you could get me them blunts? And I was like, uh, <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, you know, I'm like, I could probably get a good deal on the blunts. I'm like, you know, I'm, I could hook you up or whatever. <laughs> he's like, and we need that Arizona tea, too. He was like, I swear to God, dude. So I said. Uh, I went out my way. I ordered it. He needed one backwards. <coughs> I didn't get the tea. Ordered backwards, thinking I'm going to, like, meet A.B. and his assist, and they're going to come up, take a picture of me. Dudes never showed up, ever. So I just I ended, up having, the backwards. I ended up having to send the backwards back. These dudes never even showed up. They're like, I ain't showing up for this dude. I was just pulling his fucking A.B. Bro, that, that guy was here for three months. He came half the city of Auburn. I mean, right. fuck. I, know, I know, but he wouldn't come. he wouldn't come see me. And I had backwards for him and everything. There's a kid I knew who was who was like his assistant for a little while. And he's one of the guys who went to the restaurant and then they left and didn't pay the bill and all this Yeah, dude, shit. they were fucking everybody over, dude. It was crazy. <laughs> they really were. It was crazy. So let's talk about some of the highlights. Dude, what happened? Where were some of the highlights out of your guys' room on Saturday? Man, coach shoots darts. That yeah. dude, he has just such a nice, easy swing. Dude, you know where he was his silk. Where he was losing his strokes, bro. Every you know where he was losing his strokes, right? Button. Button. Yeah, he didn't know the greens, dude. He didn't know the. If I'm telling you right now, he should have shot in like. He, he never played for your park. He hasn't played in 20 years. Brand new course okay. for him. So, uh, I mean, what was it? Six. The softball field hole. He only had like a four, three or four footer for birdie, and uh, totally misjudged it. Ran to the bottom of the green. Um, 
what was the other one? Two, he was shaking his head at. I mean, beautiful. He was saying these greens are beautiful, but man, they're tough. Yep. Um, but that dude, he just shoots darts. He's yeah. he's really good. Uh, he threw a couple of birdies a, in there. Dude, I hit, I hit a new dude, his too. swing. Go on, Mike. His swing is so smooth as silk, dude. Yep. It reminds me of Ernie Els. Like, he's not even he swinging. He really don't even look like he's – yeah, he's just smooth and just uh, – and, and the ball just goes, bro. And it's funny. It he'll ask goes. me, like, what's a good – he goes, what's a good landing spot? He's like, where should I, you know, attack the green from? And like, I would tell him, like, the area – and he literally puts it there. He's so accurate off the tee, dude. He's so, like so, – It's crazy like, you saying that because, like, with fairway – like, think about it, though. We all try to crush the ball. We all try to hit it like super far and do this and that. And Fairway literally, I've been calling him my swing coach all week. He yelled at me like three times last week. He goes, you got to fucking change something, man. He goes, you keep hitting the same shot, man. You got to change something. So I'm like, and I said it to JR the other day. I said, yo, Jay, just like you're like in a batter circle when you're in Little League, just taking a practice cut, just walk up and hit the ball like that. Dude, I started doing that, and I've been finding the fairways a little bit more consistent until the seventh hole I – on Sunday, it's a whole different story. I, my card blew up like I someone to fucking. I was a suicide bomber, dude. It was so bad. It was awful. Oh my god. Yeah, I was even, or I was plus three going into seven. So I'm I'm on pace for like a high thirties round. Then I went eight, eight, five to finish for like a forty-seven. <laughs> blew and, you know, and it, it, as Jay, it was a quiet like three over. Like it was a birdie. Bogey or par, par, like it was just quiet, quiet. I'll tell you what, you know who to look out for in the next couple of years is that Kirk kid. Kirk takes uh-huh. the shit out of the ball, man. Dude, he is coming. To, not only is he hitting the shit out of the ball now, but like he's making that clean contact on irons, and uh, he's got that like piss missile sound when the ball takes off now because he's got so much power behind it. Yep. I mean, I think he hits his like eight iron, like one seventy. He was saying when he hits it good. Um, He's just uh, he's he's learning the game quick, very short game. quick. Short game is going to be the toughest part for him because he's going he's going. But he's opposite. even learning that pretty pretty. Yeah. His his chipping game was on point the other day. He nailed a couple putts. He just lipped out a couple putts. Mikey, that kid, I I was I wasn't joking with you, man. I'm sorry to say, it, buddy. I think he's past you and he ain't looking Dude. back now. He ain't looking back. He's, he, nah. absolutely. That's what happens when you get out once a week. Yeah. But gets, that's also what gets, happens when he he's got thirty. Free. He's got uh, also what happens when he got twenty five years uh, on him as well. So, right. and that's know. kind of where I think with Jr. right now. I think that's your problem, Jay. You're I only, I'm not playing right now. You only play and, it once a week. And the kid and the kid can bench press you, you, and you, and you <laughs> all combined. Right. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, but golf is tough. Like sometimes it's when you're playing that once a week, you, you two, Steve. It's tough. Like Bob, even Bob's playing Fridays a little bit, but nine holes on. I a feel Friday like I'm stuck. Not, yeah, there's yeah. nothing I can do. I mean, really, we should all be going to the range at least one night a week after work. But I hate the range. It's so boring to me. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't want to I mean, spend twenty dollars when I can go spend twenty dollars. <laughs> exactly. No, I know. Yeah, but dude, at the range is where you really can work on. You know those draws and uh, those fades and uh, one thing. All right, so Matt was telling me about uh, his wedge game, and this is so huge. And I didn't even think about that. He literally has three wedges he uses, but he has three different shots with each wedge. He uses the Bryson DeChambeau uh, clock system. Uh, he's got the nine o'clock, or what was it? This uh, six o'clock, or no nine? I o'clock, think it's like 11, 11 o'clock. o'clock and twelve o'clock, whatever it is. And each one back for each wedge is like. 50 yards, 60 yards, 70 yards, and 70 yards, 80 yards, 90. I, it might even be within like five yards. So he said, I literally learn my wedges. People don't learn their wedges enough. He yeah. said, they don't, um, the, you know, a full, everybody could go out there and do their full swing seven iron and they know they're going to hit it 155, 160 or whatever. That's, you know, what I hit it. But, uh, but he's right, man, that those wedges are with a half swing wedge. You got to know your distance. And uh, I, I, I sucked a lot in from coach. He, he taught me a lot. Just, that round well that's one thing early in the early in the season jay was like one thing people can really do to improve it um figure out your distance of your wedges and your irons that's gonna make such an impact on your short game for you like when you know you can hit your 60 degree 100 yards and you can go out there and full swing your 60 degree like that makes a big difference for you when you're then you start playing course management 
So kind of what I was doing the other day until I blew up, you start, okay, I'm not going to make it there with my three wood right now. So why don't I hit my nine iron to put me 100 yards out so now I can use my 60 when I'm full swing 60 and I'm comfortable with that shot. Like, it's stuff I never thought about. I'm, I was always the guy, let's see how far I can hit it and get it close to the pin as fast as I can. It's totally not that way. <laughs> yeah, I'm always trying to try to get to my seven. Iron. I'm trying to always get to that like 150 marker. That's that's when I'm playing in competition. I uh, I broke the hybrid out off the tee a bunch uh, this yesterday. I I used that three wood. I kept the driver in the bag a lot. Yeah. Um, we were we were struggling yesterday with some some pace of play again. Uh, Bro, every like, week you say that. It's every it's week. it's uh, I I just don't even know what to say anymore. It's it's. Great competition. It ain't ever going to change, dude. It ain't never going to change. It's not. Listen, it's always going to box for you guys. I don't know. It's always going to be an eight hour jaunt. Yeah, these guys go spend $200 on a weekend when they can go spend, you know, a couple bucks in free. Get a season pass at that point. Don't play all the time with the boys. Get in the Friday league. Be full time members of the Pitch Button Puff in the Legends (laughs) Golf Group. I'm not playing five and a half hour. Nothing. Nothing. I'm leaving at that point. At like four forty five, I'm out. And I'm it's taking someone tough. else's ball it, and I'm going home. It, I'm gonna go pick up whoever's in front here's of me. Here's the ball thing, Raj. All these people, it. everybody's everybody looks for their lost ball for too long is the bottom line. I talked to Adam last night about it. Um he just can't he said I keep he's like I tell everybody, he goes, I don't know how many times I have to tell people. Um, and they just think it's not your it's just not your average day out there golfing. It is a competition, it is a big tournament play. So People spend way too long looking for so that lost ball. Set someone in the group has they to have to. As I told Adam, you got to start penalizing them. You got to start doing something because then it just bottlenecks and just backs up, backs up, backs up. And uh, dude, it was so backed up yesterday. So Where'd you guys play? Where'd you guys play? Saratoga Lake. Okay. Um, it it was a beautiful day at least, and I had yeah, good, it was. I had it good was. company. It was I had real good company. Uh, me both, and Mike were chilling. Both days were gorgeous. Um, but uh. Yeah, the only, I mean, the only thing that kills me is you get out of your groove, man. You hit a good drive, and then you go up to your ball, and you stand there in the middle of the fairway for 10 minutes. I can't play that. Um, I can't dude, it was literally it. five to 10 minutes. And I don't know. Shot. Again, Mike, I don't know if it was the group in front of I think it could have been the group in front of us because it could have been the group in front of them. I think it just all bottles. Of, I think, it. yeah, it was, it was, was a snowball. Thing. There was certainly times when the group in front of us was waiting necessarily uh, for the group in front of them. So I don't know what the group in front of us was doing as well. It, it's just uh, – well, you guys on Saturday were fucking two holes behind us, so I don't know. But we was... also weren't holding. I don't think we were really holding Jr. up too. We that, did actually that at was, one point. That that there was, was coach giving him lessons. On <laughs> <his stuff. laughs> I like we should have went last. You. We should have oh, went it, last it, 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 <laughs> for real. What's that, yeah. Jay? I said we caught up a little bit, but I don't think it got too bad to where it was like a problem. No, uh, coach was giving me a bunch bad. of lessons. It wasn't like that. No, there was one hole where actually there was, there was one a couple hole holes where I looked back and he was showing me. I'm like, no, let's go off. These guys are coming. Um, yeah, but I you pull, guys. I pull up Saturday. Anthony's there. He's got Adam, who's a scratch golfer, Jay. Giving him, <laughs> giving him chipping tips. And he's playing with a scratch golfer in his cart, the RPI <laughs> coach. I'm like, this guy's got a hustle, hustling us all today. And I still didn't beat any of you. No, you did all right, though. You beat a couple of the guys in the group. Um, I'm doing everything great except for tripping, and I kind of fixed that. Um, liking how my game is at right now. If I I putt, I'll just get into a funk with putting some holes, but, like, my putting has been really, really good. It's been saving me a lot of strokes to where I could be ending up with nines and tens, but I'm luckily sneaking out with a six or seven on some of these holes, man. It's oh, tough. Man. I sunk one on, uh, what was that, par... On the goalie hole, I sunk like a eight footer into the shadows, the other twelve footer into the shadows the other day. Jay, yeah. you were with me in that group, I think. I uh, I went, I went for the green again on that hole, and I fucking put it out of bounds. OB <laughs> hit three off the tee. I can't do that every time. No, nope. that's a tough. Yeah, hole, you did. I didn't do nothing on Saturday. I shot the worst eighty-eight of my life. This shit was eight. so fucking ugly, bro. I probably eighty-eight. Probably like twenty <laughs> percent. Like Gers was probably like fifteen percent. Like you were scrambling, scrambling and dying for an eighty-eight, dude. But still, it's score. Still, CJ. But like that's the thing. Like you're shooting, you're playing like shit, and you're still shooting in the eighties, bro. 
get high 80s and I'm playing like shit. Imagine if I hit a drive over like 200 yards instead of snap fucking everyone. Every single one, dude. dude uh, what's yeah. going on? What's the plan for Wednesday, Raj? So, Jay, you trying to play Wednesday? No, yeah. it's going to be like 96, bro. And I, I'm probably going to have to – um. Dude, 96 Move is a an couple understatement. Things. I think. Yeah, on Wednesday. yeah Rod, we might be canceling, buddy. We we'll, we have it booked, but we'll just. You're see gonna how it cancel goes. because it's too hot, buddy. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's supposed to be a. I don't care. Four heat index, bro. Right. Cool. Bring some water, bro. <laughs> we sit in the winter. We sit in the freeze our ass off. This is no, so you got, better. Um... You better bring yourself a defibrillator. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man. I'll tell you what, the ball's going to fly, though. <laughs> oh, gonna the ball's going to fly. So Three, fly. 300 yards plus. You better, yeah. with the, you better wear a shirt like that. You're going to be even worse. I'm going to wear my fun. Jamaica. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear my fucking sleeveless Jamaica tank top, baby. Let's go. Yeah. For your park, <laughs> Troy Watt. I'll Lord. fit right in, Troy. You know how I, his arm's gonna I, be after a I double dog dare you to show up in a Speedo. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Hey, my uh, dog dare you. So, did you guys watch the wrap ups of golf here? Did you guys watch um, what happened? The Shambo win? The Shambo and Rory. Wow. Game. Dude, that was insane. You mean, watched, like, you mean last, like, did you see whole... Rory? Yeah. 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 Damn. That was too didn't... bogey. Three out of his last four holes with two missed three foot pots. Less than three foot pots. Man, he was probably just happy his wife didn't divorce him. Oh, no, all was, that money. No, he was leaving her for the the uh, the reporter. He was rumored to be smashing the reporter chick from the golf golf network or whatever. Yep. <laughs> and they and they reconciled or something yeah, yeah. They, went, they went and hung out together with their daughter and he probably gave she probably you know helped give we got too much money to lose we can't yeah. do this right right yeah so, but uh but yo that bunker shot from 55 yards that to like three feet is crazy dude so but crazy. he hit it there i was like oh fuck he's screwed and then he sticks it i'm like yo he's got this locked up once you make a shot like that you know like that's gonna be this it's your day it's your fucking day when you make a shot like that. Dude, so. I hate I hated Bryson so much. What, Fedora, is, Fedora Bryson, I hated him. I hated exactly, Fedora. Yeah. exactly. He was a dick then, dude. Dude, me and Brian Avery just, just had this conversation uh, yesterday. We were talking last night. We were talking about it, and I was like, bro, like something about him. Like I didn't like that Fedora version of him. Like it wasn't like I felt like he was being fake, dude. But. Now it's like, all right. Who is it? Yeah, the the bulking like the bulking up, the bulking up. D- Bryson was was so cheesy, right? It, it was so fake. But now, now he's like, now he's genuine, dude. I like what he's doing with the kids. You even see what he did with the um with the, the kid in the wheelchair? No, no he went in the that trophy. Was awesome, he went. And, and, My buddy uh, brought him. Are these a guy? Hold on, Jack. We went in. Uh, he went and took the trophy, and he said the fans were such a big part of this. Like, you let him touch fans. it. Yeah, that was dope, man. That's cool shit. Like, people bought it. He athletes, had he, do that. he had it in the bunker with him, didn't he? Yeah, with that yeah, guy. I was just the, seeing highlights. The reporter it. guy. Did you guys see the reporter guy that with yeah, the mustache? He, he, he went the rip- raked, He raked the whole he, bunker and shit. Oh my god, he is he is cool as shit, dude. It's he all, changed it, his ways. It, he is he is totally one eighty. Yeah, because me and me. In Me and the, Andy um, went and seen him at Liberty National, and and he was like having people kicked Brooksy! out. <laughs> he That's was Brooksy! having people kicked out, bro. Fucking, are you his? Tell 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 that story about the security detail. Ah, uh, he, he had two dudes following him around with guns on their hip, and I and we they were right next to us, what? and said said to one of them, "Yo, are you guys Bryson's private?" And they were like, "No, no, no, no." no. No, he looked at you and like did like the Will Ferrell. No, wow. about three holes later, we see them grabbing a kid and escorting him out. We get over to that area, and the people were all like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." There was a kid that just yelled Brooksy to him, and they just escorted him out. Wow. Uh, so, was having people thrown out just for yelling Brooksy, dude. That was it. So dude, he was a little bitch. That's, yeah, to, that's a little bitch shit. Everybody loves him. Now they do. Loves it. Loves it. Well, 
there was a video of him like at his Airbnb in the neighborhood, and he like hung out with the people in the neighborhood like after too with the trophy, let them all like touch it and shit and hold it. That's dope. See, that's yeah, so he's, cool, man. He, he's a good cat, man. He's growing the game definitely. You got to make yourself more related, relatable to the regular people. Like you can't be that bougie. Like you just got to be relatable, and you can make so much more money. Like in advertisements. Now I guarantee people. When, all the other sponsors see that. I mean, he's already got every single one he probably wants, but that's the type of shit they're going to jump on. And they're going to give him the bonuses and pay him more. And come out. I guarantee you if he signed with Nike or whoever, he's going to come out with a, his own cleat line now. So, you know, the golf shoe line and shit like that. Like, I that's think he's with works, Foot Joy right? now. Yeah, so now he'll have his own Foot, foot Joy shoe and all this, with the trophy on it and all this other bullshit. Like, that's the type of shit you can do when you're a people person like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Opposed to a fucking asshole, and you're not going to sell tickets, and you're not going to sell shoes, and all this other shit. Dude, he's blowing YouTube up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Blowing it up. Like, and Paige Sporanek is blowing him up. Yeah, she yeah. loves it. You know, they always play, they play a bunch of shit you see on there. Yeah, Yo, they play sometimes. You think, you, think, you, think they, uh, you think he banged her or what? Probably. I bet they, they, who knows, bro? They could be together on the low, and people just you don't never know. never know, dude. Right. <laughs> you know They'd I mean? make a good couple, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Like, I mean, shit, someone's going to go golfing with every day, that's perfect. There you go. Never right. complain about you being at the golf course and shit. You're all set. <laughs> that's the life. Funny, man. That's the life. So, yeah, and we're going to play Wednesday. Me, you, Fairway. I'm playing Wednesday, so keep the tea time. Me, you, Fairway, and uh, Scrounge, because I know Scrounge ain't going to bitch out. It's no, too hot, I'm man. Playing. It's too I'm hot. playing, dude. I'm in. Jules will now, be out Scrans- there slinging water. We'll be golden. I might be wearing this tank Scrans top. bitches so out sometimes. Dude, yeah. you better, you guys drink, better drink a lot of water. No, no, I'm, I'm going to yeah. be, a, I got to go up to the warehouse before I go in, so I'll make sure I, I stock up. I'll get a cooler and I'll stock yeah, up. I was going to say, grab like a mini cooler, get some ice, get like yeah. a 12 pack of water in there. Yeah, it would be fine. Just dump it on your head every once yeah, in a while. Yeah, dude. I, I do got to say, Saturday was fun, man. Yo, it was Especially awesome. with, with, with Coach. Coach Coach is a yeah. good dude, man. I like him. Yeah, My group had, was actually all right because everybody played, like, decent, I think. So, like, we were just vibing in. and, like, chilling and, like – but those guys, like, we were, like, thinking, like, what did they do? Like, bro, it was – they were playing that, like, boring golf shit, bro. <laughs> where they were, like, they hit a drive 250, then they hit an iron on the green, and then they putted twice, and then I, like, kind of just kept doing that. Yeah. But, then, yo, that's the whole thing, too. Like, that's what I wanted, like, the Legends portion of this thing to be. Like, just go out there I, where I don't have to worry about who's playing with who. Like, I literally looked at that card. I said, all right, I can put this dude with this dude. I can put this guy with this guy. I can do all this shit. And I don't have to worry. Like, I know everybody's going to go and get along. Like, those guys are going to click up. You guys are going to click up. Mikey, you obviously was Father's Day weekend. I put you with your son. Like, and then Anthony was with his stepdad, the RPI coach. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we probably would have been closer to you guys even more if fucking Steve and Hank would ever shut up and yeah, fucking. That's the thing. Like, I have to part. be careful of that. I can't put two chatterboxes together. Coach, like that. yo, so coach, fix it up. coach thought he was coming to play around with us and get out and have a day off from coaching, and he ends up having to coach. And he wanted to, bit. bro. He I, wanted to. I know to. he did. I know he, he loves did. it. So listen, though, this is the but funny yeah. thing about Coach Raj. I gotta just, I gotta tell you yeah, a little story. Ahead. The dude, like, was he expecting like to have twelve guys out there? Before no, I told him. Did? I told him. Okay. But he's, I, I mean, he may listen to this episode or he may not. But man, Coach, drop drop the f word once or say shit. <laughs> even he's like he's like the gosh <laughs> darn it kind of guy or. <laughs> Like, yeah. he has a bad shot, and he's like, shucks. Oh, fiddlesticks. Like, <laughs> like, you know, I was dropping some F-bombs, and uh, I felt like I was, like, you know, cursing in front of, like, my dad when I was 12 years old or something. Yeah. Um, like, like feeling like I had to watch my mouth. Like, he's very – Dropping, he's, he's dropping motherfuckers very, very left goody, and right. Goody, goody. Ah, motherfucker. So then oh, Mikey offers him. Mikey offers him the vape. He said, hey, coach, you want to rip of this? Yo. Uh, <laughs> Hold on dude. real quick. We got a special Uh-oh. appearance. This is a special appearance. Oh, man. shit. Hey, man. It's all. Hey, Fairway. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hello. Look at him. Look at his he, he's, trying to, he's trying he's, to figure it out, isn't he? He's trying to figure out something. He just, wants to, he just wants to watch. Him. He doesn't want to even jump on. He just wants to watch the couch. He's acting he's, like he's acting like uh 
He can't hear us. I'll pop him up. <laughs> oh my if he God. wants to hop back on, I'll let him. He knows he needs like, yeah. light. Right? Yeah. 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 yeah he no, was he leaving. doesn't. He doesn't. He yeah, he no was leaving. Yeah, turn a light on. He was leaving clubs all over the place Saturday, dude. Yeah. Yo, I got to send you that video of him <laughs> bowing to me. I forgot about that. Yeah. That was he funny lost, shit. He lost three clubs on Saturday. <laughs> Hank lost two on Sunday. He had to go back for <laughs> Fucking guys. It's like little kids that had fucking leashes to them. You know what I mean? They sniff oh too God. much glue and they fucking... <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jay. Now they're just a mess. They have no idea. Like, I'm like, fair <laughs> way. But, like, I always put my club near the flag stick, so I know at least someone's going to see it. Like, whenever we pull the pan and we put the flag down, my wedge is usually somewhere in that vicinity. These guys throw it in the rough. They throw it up in the, near the cart, in the woods. Some, sometimes they walk right over it and fucking continue on. I leave most of my. I try to leave most of my stuff in the way of like going to the cart. Yeah, always. So I know I have to walk by it if I put it somewhere. <laughs> I know Anthony's definitely lost a bunch of clubs in his day. Um, I I'm doing better. I do better nowadays. <laughs> I've lost yes. a club in a while. Lately, know. he's been lately he's been having an issue with club head covers. The club head covers is worse. Yeah, I mean, my driver, dude, like, my or... driver head he's, covers in he's, somebody's he's, car. You got to get in a routine of leaving it in the same spot. Something, man, something. Yeah, it's tough. You got uh, He's back. Yo, yo fairway. He's like a, there's like a ghost my, or something. Fairway. Fairway. Light. I'm looking for you. I'm for oh you. my God! So, <laughs> he's the best. Raj, I'm uploading, we'll I'm uploading this video right now. I'm uploading this video and I'm gonna bring it onto the screen so we can all watch it here. Of, what is uh, it? Fairway, you'll see. It'll all take right. a few seconds. Fairway, It'll your house lights, not your phone. Turn some, turn a light on in your house. Hey man. <laughs> hey I Fairway, Mike, I have a Lombardi to sell you. You want a Lombardi? Yeah, yeah. You know who needs a Lombardi? Who? Hey. Hank needs a new putter. Oh, no. Yeah, he does. He's got that old. He loves that thing, though, Jay. I get it. That's how <laughs> that, thing is, Nike that shit should be in a fucking museum by now. Yeah, that shit's shot. But he <laughs> loves it. What the hell happened here? Dude, here it is. dude my, my new Lomb- Lombardi is pretty nice, man. I just got to get it re-gripped. Yeah, yeah I like the- it a lot. That's what I think. I want a black. I got the red grip on mine. I think once I get the black grip on there, I'll, I'll use it a lot more. But I'm just yeah. I, I have to wait because I'm so comfortable with my uh, Nike putter that I've had for so long that, and I'm putting good with it that I don't really right. want to change. I was is so Mike there? Out. Is is what's he? Is he sleeping? There he is. Hey, 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 man. What's hey, up, man? Fairway? What's up, brother? What are you on? The, what are you oh, on the moon? Way. Is he alive? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey, hey. You look like you're in a. You look like you're in a coffin. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> he looks comfy. Is he okay? Oh, no, yeah, really? Like... Do, we need, do we need to check <laughs> on him? What'd he do? <laughs> he's just trying to... I removed him. Oh, he's just trying to watch, he's just trying to watch the podcast. <laughs> what are we doing? Is that, He's just trying to watch it? He, think he's not, he doesn't want to talk? <laughs> is that what he's really doing? Yeah, he's just trying to watch it. Like this is thing. awesome. <laughs> yeah, clip oh, that. Oh, God. <laughs> that creep comes onto your podcast. Oh, <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Put put the video Stop on, it. man. Yeah. Hold on. This well, is got, almost done, guys. That's this like when we got hacked. Done. It's what? like us getting, Dude, it's like we got hacked and someone jumped. You don't think it was him? Oh, no, it was hundred percent fairway. <laughs> yeah, we we're just joking for like the clip yeah. head part of that it. That is great. <laughs> Gotta have a good caption to it. On, Anthony. Look at it. <laughs> I'm sending I'm sending it to myself. We're almost there, guys. You're doing good, man. We're proud of you. Yeah. No, so what right. about like Sunday, Raj? I'll be right break. back. Uh, yeah, so me and Jeff was talking about Sunday real quick. So Sunday, besides me getting off to a fucking terrible start, um, here's the other scorecard: Mike, Kirk, and Matt. So the only birdies in that group <laughs> on Saturday were uh, Coach, Coach had both birdies. Oh, he birdied eighteen. Big shot, huh? Big shot. But Sunday, Jay. Let's see. I shot my probably my worst round of the year, dude. Was a ninety-five. That was tough. Like I mentally after those two eights, I was mentally defeated. Like I knew there was no bouncing back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I knew I was like, yo, I just really two holes just ruined my whole day. And yeah. from, from that point on, I was just kind of fucking like, right, let's get out of here today. 
And then I shot, you know, I shot the worst 88 on Saturday. Followed it up. I shot the worst 87 on Sunday. (laughs) Literally doing the same bullshit. Snap, snap. Oh, what was your fairways? Uh, 20%. (laughs) Gers at like 20%. Just and playing fucking terrible. Like six, I ended bro. You three, get... three, so that saved the day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, you I'm got... back, guys. I'm back. It's some... uploading. You guys you ready for this? Money. Hold on one second. You got some skids money, too, on, uh, on Sunday. On 18. Yeah, so on 18, I hit, like, my first good drive of the day. It was probably, like, 260, because I think I had 30 left to the flag in the front. Yeah. I think it played around. I probably played like 290 the other day. Yeah, so probably yeah. like 260. I hit a straight little baby draw, and then I hit a 60 spinner from the fairway from like 30, and I left it to like six feet. It might have been like I thought it was going to be like eight. Yeah, six eight. But uh, dude, this thing broke three feet, I think, and I fucking made it, bro. I putt was a sick. It should be on one of your guys's cameras when you. I got by. it. I got it on my. Dude, if you clip that, you should clip that. I'll put it with that, yeah. And then there was uh, 17, Jay. Me and you both stuck in close to the pin for, for some birdie looks. Um, yeah, I had like six, I had six feet or eight feet on that one, too, and I just missed it. Burning edges. That's the thing. Like, Freer Park, it's a pace putt. Everything's pace. Like, mm-hmm. if, you don't, if you don't hit the pace right, you're fucked. So, and let's see what you got. And the winner's on, let's see, the winner's on Saturday with Bob. And coach, the winners uh, for first place, second place was Steve and Jr. They got the, they got hooked up uh, from the goodie bag, and then last place we had three scores of a hundred. So with that, Mikey's crushing that right now. With that, I couldn't make anybody wear the Lombardi shirt, so I held off. Um, and then Sunday, high score was Kev one hundred three. Fairway 97, me with the 95. Steve's keeping in the 80s, which I like to see, 89. And then uh, Hank with the 82 for the low score. <laughs> Hank, Hank was playing good, so and he fucking lit me up on Friday. I got to give Hank a shout-out. Give credit where it's due. That dude was shooting darts. He was making every putt. Like, I was two holes in, and I go, I, am, I used Fairway's favorite line. I am so fucked. So, <laughs> it was over. But, Ann, what do you got first? You got a video first. What do you got? Yeah. You ready for this? Can you pull it up on your end? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Anthony, how the Uh-oh. hell you been, brother? Nice to Good, see buddy. you, man. How are you guys hitting them? How are you guys hitting them? I love your Good. shows, man. Really I'm playing 12 over. How are you hitting them? I got a 33 going into 7. Or going into Anthony, I love your shows, baby. Thanks, brother. Love Good you too, job, man. man. Love you too, man. First part, the first part, though, you got to see. Watch. Ready, Ropa. <laughs> He's fucking bowing. Bowing to me. Love it. He's the there way. He goes, he goes, hey. <laughs> he goes, hey, man. Hey. And then he goes, bows to you. That was great. <laughs> yeah. Was great. He, I give him his, his club back after I find it. And he's yeah. like, hey, c- come here, man. Gives me a big hug and shit. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, he's the best. He's fucking great, dude. So Mike, you over there? You sleeping? Yeah, he's probably... I see him in, the, in there. I don't know if he wants to jump in or not. I don't know what he's saying, though. I Let see, see. his <laughs> Hey, man. There he is. Hey, man. Mikey. What's up, Fairway? <laughs> I don't... Maybe his microphone's not working. He's probably got his headphones in, so it's not going to connect. He's got to take his headphones out. This guy. <laughs> uh, I'll leave him there for a second. We'll see what happens if his microphone kicks in. But, yeah, he's the best, man. We'll be out there Wednesday, Thursday. And then we got our last, last week of the league, Friday. Jay, where are you at in the standings? Um, I'm not yeah. sure. I just put in for like two makeups, so I gotta wait probably a few days. Nice. Yeah, I got me, Bob, and Hank are all right on the right on top. So we'll see what happens. Hey, it must be nice playing the B flight, bro. <laughs> I don't play good on Fridays. I shot a 46 for on Friday. I do not play good on Friday nights. It's terrible. It's my worst round every week. Friday didn't shoot a 36 though this year in league play, so I'm happy with that. I was even par. 
You got to get that swing back, brother. Get that swing back. I was we'll wrap- that day. Let's wrap this up. We'll be back on uh, for Friday episode for a preview of this week. Going to do the two tea times. Uh, Mike, you doing the amateur tour this week? If I need a guy, I'll hit you up. I got to check with the boys, but if I need a guy. Uh, yeah, hit me up. Let me know. I'll, okay. I don't know. I'm up in the air. Okay. And there might be, um, maybe, we got to talk about it, but there might be a new like studio coming. Yeah. Not wait and see, though. We'll talk and see what we want to do. Yeah, we got. Is 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 it still gonna be Heyman Studios, or is it gonna get a new? uh... It might get a new one. Might get a new name. We'll have to start fresh, maybe. Start fresh. Yeah, you're you're gonna have to get a new one. We'll figure something out, though. But yeah, we might hook something up. Uh, We'll see what happens here, but it'd be pretty dope to. (laughs) This works though, like for the recaps. This is perfect. Like once once a week to get to sit down with the boys, like the upstate shit you guys do, going over to Mikey's. Um, that's that's really what I want to do because I think it's especially if it's in Troy, Jay, they can't say shit. There's no travel for half of them. It's all right there. Yeah. So hopefully um, it's gonna be big enough to where we can get like a big like four person like table where we could sit in like a high chair, get the mics coming down, yep. and just be kicking in there. Yep. Set it up and leave it up for sure. We, we and- got to figure out how to get like a camera set up. Yeah, to, to where... switch back and forth to like the yeah. TV and stuff. It's, we gotta right. get the we gotta get the board. So I, the XG hooked me up and told me how to like what the what we need to do all that. I have it. I saved it into my phone somewhere. So I'll, I'll take a look at it. It's just so a couple. Maybe of, soon. It, maybe it's like know, three bucks. Three weeks. Be on the lookout. Man. So we got shit cooking. Guys, nice. we got shit cooking. What do you guys got cooking over there, upstate? Upstate, man, we got a lot cooking, man. We've been growing. We've been doing big things, uh, growing with Lombardi, growing with squares. Um, this week we dude, have... them squares are so dope. Sorry They're... to cut you off, man. They look unbelievable on you too, Mike. They look super sexy. Those, I must are, say. those are fresh with the red laces too, Mike. They, they look, look really awesome, nice. Dude. They look super fresh. Uh, go check our link we... out uh, for any <laughs> discount. Uh, use Anthony Farina for Lombardi for a discount code. Um, but yeah, man, we've been having some awesome guests on. I got a whole lineup of guests. I'm basically booked out through July, August. I have Ann Lig- Liguary. Uh, I just booked her. She's the golf voice for W Fan New York City. She okay. was just hanging out with yep. Keith Hernandez, Mikey. So we'll be able to pick her brain. Yeah, apart. I remember looking at her uh, her Instagram. Yeah, you know, you know, she was with hanging out with Keith. So I uh, mean, the the longer this thing's been going on, I'm having some cool ass people on as guests and uh, i'm getting more com- the... get more comfortable on the mic which is um is really uh important for the listeners because i know they uh they're enjoying me more and more now because me and mikey are busting more balls and we're just being uh more natural instead of a script it's it's been a lot of fun yeah yo, jay you gotta listen to the last i had a laughing fit on the last episode so, <laughs> so i don't know if jay knows so he Anth had me read like this course review thing and it was Karnuski, but like I've never seen, like I didn't know what the hell it was. I didn't know if it was a court. I didn't know anything about it, right? But I've never seen it like how it was written. So I'm like, yo, Ann, what word is this? Like I'm not saying like embarrassing myself. Like I can't. <laughs> right, what right. word is this? Right? So we had a laugh and fit there, and then like a couple weeks later, someone's reading something, and then they we blunder there. So yesterday or last episode. Ant's reading and like stumbles, and I just fucking lose it, dude. I'm like, yo, we just can't read, bro. We're 40 years old, and we just can't fucking yo, read. I had to turn around reading this thing because these two guys were fucking losing it. They were yo, crying. That's the thing. Me and Mikey feed off of each other. Like, I'll start laughing about something, I'll start laughing, and it's fucking dude, over. Dude, it was uh-huh. so funny. I couldn't get myself together for a good five minutes, man. Those laughs, though, those laughs are good, bro. When you're like, <laughs> stuck in the laugh, yeah. bro. Oh, my I God. Stop. I could not stop. Yeah, it was, it was so fun. Good. I've been having a great time with this whole thing, though. It's awesome. So who's, yeah. uh, who's, who's your guest that gets released? Well, this will be out tomorrow. So who's your guest? Who uh, uh, Life, off Life Metals, man. Uh, this dude makes, makes um, ball markers for players all over the world. And I... Uh, some awesome stories. I'm really excited for my listeners to hear this one. Yeah, he was uh he he, he actually made one for Rory, didn't he? Yep. Yep. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sure Choking. did. And it's uh we got some I video was just proof. I gonna say what was it? A fucking a noose? 
<laughs> we got some, we got some video proof of, of Rory using it. Uh, there's a couple other um, um, PGA Big players PGA that people. Use, use his his regularly um, as like a superstitious thing. Now I'm not going to ruin the episode, but uh, yeah, actually, is this when is this getting released? I might do it tomorrow. I might do it Wednesday. Well, my this one's getting released tomorrow, dude. Yeah. One of them is Tommy Fleetwood. Yeah, this dude. So, so real quick, this is a cool story told. So he was he's personal friends with Tommy Fleetwood's caddy. He said, "I'm friends with a lot of the caddies, but not actually the players." So I guess Tommy Fleetwood like went on a stretch of like missing the cut three or four rounds, and uh, the the uh his caddy was like you want to try my lucky uh i've been shooting really well with this thing you want to try my lucky ball marker that this dude made me from long island he's like sure and it said fuck bogeys on it that's all it said was fuck bogeys fleet will goes out and shoots a 63 with that ball marker doesn't want to use it he said you ain't getting this ball marker back (laughs) so his picture of tommy fleetwood using the dude's ball marker um it's pretty cool man it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a good episode he lives right. right on Beth Page, so he's got the whole breakdown of Beth Page and shit too. So it's yeah, it's dope. gonna be a lot of fun. Pretty dope, but yeah, it's our so way on the Beth Page. Let's do it. That's a public course, man. We can go down. Oh, we could get way. on. It's not getting on. Isn't it's the just problem. getting a tea time. It's getting a tea time, dude. I'd have to. You have to like. Stay, they said you have to like be up to like at midnight. And like literally in the first like seven seconds, it's bucked for that day you wanted at. And, literally, and he's got it down to a science. Yeah, I'm Yo, sure he knows people too. I can imagine because how fast it, I had to book my own tea time for this Sunday for Father's Day, and to book those two tea times at nine, nine o'clock ish, opposed to like the seven o'clock ones were going like that. I was sitting there clicking as fast as I could at five o'clock in the morning <laughs> to make sure I got the two tea times for Sunday. It's crazy. It was nuts, dude. I was like, holy shit! Like my, yeah, so... I had it all set up to where I just had to click it and go. Click it and yeah, go. dude. Because Beth Page is only seventy dollars to play as well. Yeah. Is that the one where you like camp outside? No. Um, I know there's one where people say they have to like camp and shit like the day before and like park that. on the like the like park in the place, but you have to like sleep in your car and then it's like first come, first serve. It yeah, might be I black. Think... No, I think th- he, this one, I think Beth Page Black, you can do online, but there's no carts or anything. You got to hire a caddy. caddy. Um, it's a whole, whole thing. Dude. He said, didn't he say something on the on the podcast of that that the red course is the one that everybody is more preferable to, yeah. or something like that? Yeah, like. But if lo- you're going to that page, you gotta play black, right? <laughs> I guess you get green I mean, if you want to be miserable. <laughs> yeah, but that's the challenge. Like you see these right. guys on TV doing it. All right, where, where do you stack up? You can, this is one sport where you can actually play it and see where you stack up amongst the best. It's not like you can go out and play basketball with LeBron and see how good. What do you think you would be honest? What do you think a legitimate score? What do you think you would shoot there? Be honest. If you're playing your best, one twenty. Yeah, playing your best. What would you shoot there? One hundred, one hundred ten. No, I still think in the high hundreds. Yeah, Dude, the first the first cut of rough, the first cut of rough, you ain't right. getting out of. You literally, it's there's the first cut of rough, and then there's tall fescue, and the first cut of rough is like how, ankle how many deep. how many balls do you think you're gonna go? All of them. Couple of them. Well, that's why he said you got a like couple dozen. <laughs> he said you need to have a caddy <laughs> for that reason, though, is because caddies will exactly. find your ball in the fescue, and they'll find your ball for you. They're trained to uh, watch your ball and follow it. Um, there's not, he said. There's really, it's not the greens at Beth Page. That's not what kills you. It's the, uh, it's the rough, first, rough. first cut of rough and the fescue and getting well, off the tee. But if you're playing your best, you might not have that problem that much. Right. <laughs> Maybe yeah, that helped out. My best was even par this year so far. <laughs> that, Maybe the other day Maybe. that helped out me being a spotter for Jay on 17. He went right. I was standing at the top of the hill filming those guys after you guys went. And I went right. He right, found it in a second. Right through yeah. his ball. Boom. Oh, right. it's also very long. Beth Page. It's also from the right. whites, which is like not the tips. Just right. from right. the whites, it's like seventy. It's uh, I think it's seven thousand yards. It's like sixty nine something. And That's it's deep. it's it's dude. It's like he said. You're basically playing like par fours. You're hitting it in with like you know your hybrids instead of your wedges or instead of your seven irons. Right. He said, right. you know, your second shots, everyone is like a hybrid or a, a wood or five or four iron. So that's where it's tough, too. It's long. It's long. Yep. 
But yeah, um, the other thing I want to say real quick, and what we got to do more of is that double camera shit where we link up. And you guys got to figure that out, man. That right. Pretty good though. Antony's so, Antony's was fucking sideways. <laughs> like at he one said it was a mess. Point. It was cool, Dude, but I, I, I swear to God, I thought I was going cross-eyed. Yours was out of focus at one point <laughs> to where you couldn't even fucking see nothing. And his is sideways. I'm like looking at it going cross-eyed. I'm kind of trying to listen. I'm like, wow, dude, you guys are a mess. You guys are a Mike, mess. you were just big. I think it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, we'll but, figure it out, though. But like having the tee shot and then you can see where it'll land. It was like, cool. That's, that's it was cool. a cool concept. Yeah, yeah Absolutely. absolutely. So once you guys decide to go full time, rooting Kirk on, puck, we can do that. Yep. It was cool that you were rooting Kirk on on his shot, and you were over it. You know what I mean? That was cool yep. as fuck. Yeah, shit's dope. So yeah, because I can be away from the ball and talk and commentate from the other side right. of the green and, and all that too. So no doubt. But uh, it or Mikey, let them know where they can find you guys, man. Upstategolfguys.com. That's it. Piece of cake. What's the Instagram? That's it. What's the Instagram? Golf well, guys. Upstate Golf Guys podcast. Podcast, all right. And Jay, what's your Instagram handle? Let's get your follower game up. Bro, um, I change it like once a week. I know, bro. Every time <laughs> I put, yo, so I started putting I don't know what it is right now. I just changed I start, it a Jay, few days ago, probably. What is it? Jay, Jay I think it's like JR Golf's PPP. Yeah. P. Yo, so Four started, P's or three P's. I started putting him in the description, but now it doesn't even register because he changes it every fucking week. I'm like, get the Dude, fuck I'm I did it three. I did it three three times and gave up. I was like, all right, I'm done. You I'm should see my YouTube. I've done it. I do the same thing there. I change it every week. It's sick. It's sick. Man. Appreciate <laughs> see you what boys people jumping like out. Most, you know, no doubt. Let's see what see what one sticks. Yeah. Sure. All right, boys. I appreciate you jumping out. Wrap up. All right, Here's guys. An hour or so, Mikey, and I'll see you uh, Wednesday. Well, I won't see you because you got the in house guest. So I'll talk to you guys on Wednesday. Yeah. That's it. Uh, Jay, I'll reach out to you. We'll probably do a Thursday episode to drop on Friday for the preview. All right, brother. Keep them straight. No three pots, baby. That's it. We'll talk to you soon. Later. Peace. You can. It will start. (laughs) What's up? What's up? Oh, you guys are all fucking nutty. You've been watching. (laughs) Hey man, you've been watching the whole time. Why didn't you jump? No, in? no, I came in about in the half, in the middle, and I seen my picture up there, and it was going wacko or something, some fucking thing that Anthony was doing, you know, Anthony, right? Yeah. But, but I didn't see it. I couldn't hear it. <laughs> okay. Are you just hearing yourself when you're doing the bowing down to him for, for finding your club or whatever? Oh, that's it. That's Mike, the shit that, that was going on. Mike, wow. Mike, ready? Mike, ready? Yeah, man. <laughs> Anthony, how the hell you been, brother? Nice to Good, see buddy. you, man. How you guys hitting them? How you guys hitting them? I love your shows, man. I have a question, Mike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you really watch my, you really listen to my show? Yeah. Yeah, uh, all the know. time, man. I love it. Are you really a fan? I'm a follower of you, man. I love See, we it. Man. Support, man. The CPP supports me. I love it. I love you, man. I love you. you guys are... <laughs> <laughs> That's funny shit, man. Fairway. I love, I love it. It was a good show, life. though, what I've seen. Thank you. Thank you. Fairway. I have Thanks, a question. Bro. Fairway. Yeah. You ain't, you ain't smoking no crazy wacky weed from like strangers, are you, these days? I work no. Hard. Why did you? Hear, how did you hear about that? What do you mean? How did I hear about that? I was with you. You don't remember? Oh. No, <laughs> you wasn't was with me when we were with Hank. <laughs> not that, it, no, it was not when that you time. did it the next time. The second ah, so, time you so there was two episodes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Hey. Hank almost died it. first, and then fucking <laughs> Harry, we went and smoked the same weed. Yo, I, I got another. I, you know what? I got another joint of that, and I. I <laughs> There was only one person I'd rather give it to, and that'd be you, Anthony. Oh my God! You ain't oh my weird. God! Make sure that's you like, buy yourself out in a garage or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, Don't like be hanging. That's like the Walter White with the uh, ri- rising ri- rising cigarette. That's fucking hey. poison. You're waiting to give it to somebody special. Hey, Raj, can you see him and Mike on a, doing that fucking joint? <laughs> 
Oh, oh my God. <laughs> no, I Holy that shit. I smoked that whole fucking joint right, right down to my toes, man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you believe oh, that? Two yeah, joints yeah. and you would... Two hits and you wouldn't be able to walk, brother. Probably not. I, b- I believe it, bro. That's crack. <laughs> Nobody still knows what it was. It was, it was, it was really probably you have one, Dalvi or some shit. Oh, no, it wasn't he Dalvi. just Mike was just the look on <laughs> Fairway's face. <laughs> hey, man, I'm watching post. Josie Wells, so I got to go, man. You guys know what that show is? Josie you Wells. ever hear of that? I've heard yeah, it, but I, it's an early like Julia Roberts in that movie. Yeah, Let's see, Clean Eastwood movie, Josie Wells. Oh no, no, you love the old westerns and shit, though. Yeah, see, now I know you did it, right? Hey, Mike. What? Yeah. Have you ever seen Debbie Does Dallas? Oh, uh, hey, here's another question. Um, you didn't answer me. You don't who's answer. putting them fucking hoochie coochie cards on my fucking golf Yo, bag, man? Fairway, I yeah, got fucking too, Brad. Bro. It was Fred's rad. doing it. <laughs> it was sure, I got one of those cards too, man. Hoochie coochie cards. I got one yeah. too, man. A hoochie coochie. It's a hundred bu- it's a hundred bucks, man. Yo, the girl I can get that's a bargain. Yeah, the girl I can get was eighty. I was surprised to see this one was a hundred. Hey, hey Mike, I heard they have dirty toes though. I heard their toes are a little dirty. <laughs> well, I don't know. That's a- I don't, do toes, man. Discount. You don't do yeah, toes, bro. twenty. You should see this girl too, man. Mike, she is nice, man. <laughs> and you showed her to Steve the other day. So, what do you think? He goes eighty dollars. Steve needs a girl like that, though. You know, we're, we're getting there with Steve. He needs to find wifey there. So, uh, uh, you, do you want Steve. me to rob and tug? Yeah. yeah. Like Yo, Mike and Anthony, why don't you guys have Fairway on as a guest on the Upstate Golf Guys? Man? Bingo! Great idea. You're speaking for me. I, I'm, I'm telling them. I'm speaking for them to, to have you on as a guest on their podcast. I think it would be. Anyway, I'd episode. like to formally ask uh, you. I need money, on. man. Money. How much? <laughs> I, I mean, he gets paid. Dickwad gets paid. How come I don't get no money? Better yet, I'll tell you two guys I have on a podcast with you, man. Me and Steve. Ooh. Me, Steve, and Mark. There you go. Me, Steve, and Mark. Did we have a blast the last time, man? Oh, yeah, man. Sure. You would fall off your chair laughing, man. <laughs> That's it. You guys set it up. Get them in there. Well, we will. We will. I want to My man, Anthony. Link me up with Fairway. Or, uh, link me up with Fairway's group on Wednesday, will you? Well, I think we're gonna do the one group, man. Well, we got I got two booked. Oh, shit, we'll fill that oh, up. Shit, shit. Oh, this is a smaller fucker. <laughs> <laughs> but shit, shit. Mikey, you're a bad man. Blast. I think all Mikeys are bad, bro. <laughs> we'll get we'll get Steve out there, so we could probably get. I mean, we could probably get eight. I guess we'll get eight, brother. What we'll eight. Wednesday for Wednesday? Yeah. <laughs> get Ant out there, Ant the Cartman Ant. He gets out at three o'clock though, so if he's not uh, working, then maybe, maybe if he's not working Wednesday, we could probably get him out there. We'll see. Mm-hmm. I'll talk. I'll talk to him when I see him. I'll text All right. Him. All right. I'm man. going, man. I gotta right. go. I'm getting in alive. Thanks for coming on, Fairway. We appreciate hey, it. Hey, we'll see you guys, man. Peace out, All right. Fairway. Later. All right, later, bros. Bye. I want to be make- out. <laughs> Really appreciate the boys jumping on. Fairway jumping on at the end there for a little bonus segment. Uh, before we wrap things up, let's give a shout-out to some sponsors. We got GolferCBD.com, GolferCBD USA on the Instagram. Make sure you guys check them out. Use PPP10 to save yourself 10% at checkout. Golfer CBD excuse me, uh, affects the body's receptors that manage our thought process, motor activity, resistance to stress and pain, as well as the basic systems of the human body, such as the cardiovascular, immune, respiratory, and muscular functions. Golfer CBD may influence the golfer's pain and perception, response to inflammation, and perception of various sensations, such as stress. Golfer CBD may positively affect the golfer's mood, motor functions, and keep it the way we react. Excuse me, we react to the environment, making Golfer CBD an essential tool for every golfer's toolkit. Uh, also, make sure you check out 420 Bliss, located at 740 Music Road in Detroit, New York. 
located right in the Walmart Plaza. Uh, check them out online, 420-bliss.com. They have a delivery service on there as well. And then last but not least, Trouble Off the T, troubleoffthetea.com, promo code RGB, 15% off. Uh, promo code Puff to buy one, get one free on the polos. And check out the book on Spotify and available on Audible. Written by Marty Minden, narrated by Jake Adams uh, from Country Club Adjacent. So make sure you check that out, and we'll catch up with you soon. Later. Is back on Saturday, June 22nd at the Broome County Fairgrounds in Whitney Points. Learn how to use cannabis both medically and recreationally from female leaders. Glass spilling talent, meditation, yoga sessions, and more. Plus, stop by the Drink Like a Girl tent to sample New York State craft beer. Camping and glamping options are available. Tickets and info at NewYorkStateCannabisFestival.com. Cannabis carriers are encouraged to attend. Must be 21 and over. Hope to see you there.